Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on geometry of a straight line. This is part 5 of this video. If you are joining us now, check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to other videos on geometry of a straight line. In this video, we'll be looking at angle between two lines. Consider the graph below with lines AB and CD intersecting at point P. So we have line AB, line CD intersecting at point P, and the acute angle there is named theta. If the gradients of AB and CD are M1 and M2 respectively, the acute angle theta between them is given as tan theta is equal to absolute value of M1 minus M2 over 1 plus M1, M2. For your information, this could be M2 minus M1, so whatever is convenient for you. This is what we'll be using to calculate the acute angle between two intersecting lines. So we take our first problem. Problem one, find the acute angle between the following pairs of lines. We are giving the equations of the lines in both A and B. So starting the solution from A, we still remember our relation for calculating acute angle. In order to get our M1 and M2, we express the equation of the straight lines in standard form. So for the first line, which is 4x minus 2y is equal to 13, we are going to make y the subject of the relation here. So negative 2y minus 4x then plus 13. Dividing through by negative 2, y is equal to 2x minus 13 over 2. Since negative 4x divided by negative 2 gives 2x, and the same thing applies here, this plus divided by minus gives minus then 13 over 2. So our first gradient, which is named as M1, is coefficient of x, which is 2. Then for the second line, this is second line, we have y equal to 5x minus 7. This has already been expressed in standard form. So that we now have M2, coefficient of x, which is 5. We then go ahead to get the angle between them, since we've gotten the two gradients so that tan theta will be absolute value of m1 that is 2 minus m2 minus 5 over 1 plus m1 that is 2 times 5 and uh, simplifying this we are going to have 3 over 11 tan theta is equal to 3 over 11 so that theta will be tan inverse of 3 over 11 and that gives 15.26 degrees. Remember the absolute value here is returning the positive value. So it is meant to be negative three over 11, but since we are interested in the positive value, as the absolute value, the negative is gone. So the acute angle between the two lines in 1A is 15.26 degrees. Then we go to B. For B, we have the equations of the two lines. So for the first one, I have x plus y equals to 5. We make y the subject of the relation. y is negative x plus 5. And our m1, which is the gradient of the first line, is going to be negative 1. That's the coefficient of x. So for the second line, we have a 3x minus 6y is equal to 8. This is negative 6y is equal to negative 3x plus 8. Dividing through by negative 6, we have y equal to x over 2 minus 4 over 6. We have divided each of these by negative 6. So again, our M2, that is the gradient of the second line, is 1 over 2. We then go ahead to substitute into this 
relation. So we have tan theta is equal to absolute value of negative 1 minus half, then over 1 plus negative 1 times half. Simplifying this, we have 3. So theta is tan inverse of 3, which gives 71.57 degrees. And that's all for B. And that's the end of solution to problem 1. We then go to problem 2. For problem 2, a line passing through the points 5, negative 1 and negative 1, 3 intersects with a line whose equation is y equal to x minus 1. Calculate the a acute angle between the lines. B coordinates of their point of intersection. So in our solution from A, we are going to find the gradient of the line passing through this point. Thereafter, we get our gradient from here. So for the first line, we still remember our gradient m equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Here we have this as our x1 comma y1 x2 comma y2. Substituting it into this formula in order to get the gradient of the first line, we have um, 3 minus negative 1, that is plus 1, over negative 1 minus 5. And uh, this will give us um, 4 over negative 6, which gives negative 2 over 3. So we've gotten our M1. For our M2 for the second line, we have the line to be Y equal to X minus 1. So that our M2, which is the coefficient of this X, is 1. So we then substitute the M1 and M2 to get our acute angle. So tan theta is equal to absolute value of negative 2 over 3 minus 1 that is m1 minus m2 over 1 plus 1 times negative 2 over 3 so simplifying this we have tan theta to be 5 so theta then will be equal to tan inverse of 5 which gives 78.69 degrees that's all for problem 2a. We then go to 2b. For 2b, we are to find the coordinates of their point of intersection. Um, we need to get the equation of the of this line. Having gotten that, we now solve it with this simultaneously to get the coordinates of their point of intersection. So we get the equation of the first line. Since we've gotten the gradient, and uh, we can just choose any point from here again. So we have the vision with one point and gradient. So that we now have x1, y1. This is still our x2, y2. We may not need the x2, y2 since we need only one point. So substituting, we have y minus negative 1 is equal to our gradient is negative 2 over 3 into x minus 5. This is y plus 1 is equal to negative 2 over 3 into x minus 5. We cross multiply and expand. This is 3y plus 3 is equal to negative 2x plus 10. Collecting the like terms, we have 2x plus 3y is equal to 7. I've rearranged and simplified. So this is equation 1. Then here y equal to x minus 1 is equation 2. So in that case, we then say we are substituting 
equation 2 in equation 1 to enable us get the value of x so i have 2x plus 3 into x minus 1 is equal to 7 2x plus 3x minus 3 is equal to 7 5x is equal to 10 where x is equal to 2 we are going to put x is equal to 2 in equation 2 so we can say from 2 y is 2 minus 1 which is equal to 1 so that the coordinates of their point of intersection is 2 comma 1 x y and that's all for problem 2 and this is where we are drawing the curtain for this tutorial thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it please like and share this video don't forget to check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get the link to other videos on geometry of a street line until we come your way again goodbye